Hi, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to try to remove these two snapped studs from this cylinder head. This is actually off a Boxster 3.2 litre, very, very similar to the 3.4 litre 996 head. Um, I'm going to try to remove these two studs using the Stomsky Racing um, removal kit. So I shall detail how the process for doing that. Firstly though, before I get started using the jig, I'm going to clean up these faces. As you can see, there's a lot of, of debris on here from the, from the manifold. So I'm going to be cleaning those up using a scraper. So first thing I'll do, I'll just go around this, clean all of this surface up to get a nice clean face for the jig to mount on. The surface is now suitably clean for mounting the jig on, so it'll go nice and flat. If you look closely at these two snap studs, you'll see the ends of them um, are not very square. Since we'll be drilling into the centre of these, it's very useful to have a nice flat surface on the edge of them. So I'm just going to use an angle grinder to try to dress the ends to make them flat and parallel with the, the face of the head. Here you can see where I've cleaned up the, the ends of the two studs. So the jig will now be able to mount in place. So the jig will, will go on here and it will be bolted down using two of these. So these will basically go into two of the existing holes and those are going to align the jig so that when I then drill through the holes which need drilling through, they'll be correctly lined up into the centre of the studs. I've now loosely mounted the jig in place using these two bolts. I'm using two that are closest to the ones that I want to drill out just to give the least possible variation. Um, because there's a little bit of the of the stud sticking out, I'm just using this eight millimeter spacer here just to check that the location is correct. So that should drop all the way on. And if that drops all the way on onto both of these, then it must be in the right location. So I'm just going to tighten these two up now. And then with these tight, I'll double check that this still fits in. And then I can start drilling them out. To start drilling it out, I'm going to use a, a pilot hole, which is a 3 16 inch hole. So I shall be using that with the, the smaller of these spaces here. So I shall get that done and then I'll show you the pilot hole. You can see down there where I've drilled down with the pilot drill. So I can now drill it out with the, the larger diameter drill. So this guide goes in and then is fixed in place with this just to stop it from, from moving. So I'll tighten that up. And then I shall be drilling that through with this drill here, which is a 1764 drill. So that's going to basically take out the center of the stud so that all that will be left will be the threads which will then be able to be removed. To drill through with the 1764 drill, you see I've marked the drill here. This is the, the maximum depth we can go through. I measured it in this hole on the end here. So I measured basically the depth of the hole to make sure that it's, uh, it's marked up so that I'm not gonna go through and hit onto the head. So with that marked up, I'm gonna get that on the drill and drill out the center of the stud. Drilling these two holes out, I've removed the jig. So now you can see what's what's left in there. So I'm now going to try to pick out any bits of thread and then I shall run the, the tap down the hole to clean the holes out. After I've finished drilling the, the remains of the bolts out, I managed to pull the, the threads out. So this is what remains of the threads. Some of this came out as one piece um, I ended up using a, a couple of picks to try to, to get the rest of it out. And then when that was done, I just chased the threads through with the supplied M8 taps. So these are the two holes. So the, the taps run all the way through to the bottom of those now. So um, that's it, the repair's finished. I've now got two nice clean holes. I'll blow them out with, a, with an airline and clean them up properly before anything goes back together. This head's going to be fully stripped for cleaning up anyway. So there you go, the kit worked extremely well. Um, very simple to use, very effective. 
Um, so I'd have uh, no hesitation in recommending it for the job. Very good indeed.